If this doesn't turn you on, then you should simply donate your organs for science. Technology is now going to be embedded in everything. You have to have new thinking, and that means innovation. Things are going to change more than we can possibly imagine. We're learning something new. And we're having fun. I love changing the world. I love STEM. I was not interested in science at all when I was a kid. In fact, I was studying international relations in college. A professor of mine said, I think you should be doing math. And I started doing math and I started doing computer science. And it was just so exciting to be in this field where you make things and people care about what you make. Hi, my name is Adrian Troy and I'm an assistant professor in the computer graphics group at Carnegie Mellon University. One of the reasons why I do this job is because we can take the world and recreate it on computers. That's just beautiful, amazing thing to do. Making humans obsolete since 1979. When I was eight years old, my mom bought me a computer. In order to play all the games, I had to learn how to program. Now what I do is make games for a living. Uh, hi, my name is Luis Fonan, and I'm a professor of computer science here at Carnegie Mellon. I love my job. I can do whatever I want, and I have no boss. We are built on innovation. We believe it's one of the keys to our success. Hi, I'm Virginia Benton, the Director of Global Learning, and welcome to Tyco Electronics Technical Application Center. I love my job. Science, math, engineering, technology, that's what's going to drive the future. Boy, do we have a job for you. Physics, algebra, all these things, they're nothing to be afraid of. The key is to learn the few basic simple ideas and then to figure out how to put them together. Hi, my name is George Cantor. I'm a system scientist at the Robotics Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. I get to create. I get to dream up things out of my own head and put them together and then actually see them do something in the world. I love my job. Scientist is someone who's engaged in thinking about the complexity of the universe. Hi, I'm uh, Jeff Watt and welcome to Cephalon. My job is to use our science to find new medicines to treat human diseases. I love my job. It's fun. I learn something new every day. My name's Valerie, and I'm an engineer. One of the important things you learn in a science career is about technology. Technology is all about asking questions and trying to seek those answers. It's all about being curious. In science, there is the real potential of discovering new things, and that is incredibly exciting. Hi, my name is Joel Stiles. <laughs> and I love science. <laughs> this is an incredibly interesting and exciting time in science. So many different things are coming together right now. For the first time, we're effectively bringing together physicists, chemists, with the biologists to understand the human at far greater levels of detail than have ever been possible before. You're learning things that, that no one has, has seen before or known before. Hi, my name's Jacob and I'm a visualization specialist and I love science. Yeah, I couldn't really ask for a better job. You're going into frontiers that no one has seen before. Animation is really cool. If I want to find the future, I need to look at the future and the future's young people. Welcome to the Entertainment Technology Center at Carnegie Mellon University. This is the Disney World of Carnegie Mellon. Do I like my job? I've got the best job in the world, so uh, yes, I like my job. I get to work with computer programmers, engineers, and I get to work with artists. What more could you ask for? One of the things that we're excited about around the ETC is it really does have a STEM basis because what you see around me in the hallway, you need people who understand engineering, you need people who understand the, the mechanics and the physics. Those are interdisciplinary teams that have to have people who understand the art, but they also have to have people who understand the technology and the science. I first got interested in computers in high school. That's a long time ago. <laughs> Math is a language for understanding the world. Science is important because you provide a service to the community. Hi, I'm Mark Wilson, a supervisor in analytical science, and welcome to the lab. What's cool about what I do is I find out the unknown. I'm the last defense. I'm the one that protects the consumer. As a senior scientist, I perform uh, many experiments in the lab. My name is Alpha and I love science. Every day, you walk in and you face a challenge, but that challenge is very 
stimulating to use new ideas. As a scientist, I work on nanotechnology, nanobiotechnology. Hi, I'm Chad. I'm president of the Philadelphia Biotechnology and Life Sciences Institute, and I love science. A scientist is someone who has a natural curiosity about his or her world. Somewhere in the high school classroom right now, there's a student who's going to change the world with an idea. Hi, I'm Joanne Mathiason. I'm a senior scientist, and I work in Cephalon. I see a lot more women in the sciences now. There are so many different, diverse people, and there's one language that we all speak, and that's science. I love my job. It's not just about equations on the board, it's really about the world. You're out there on the internet, downloading millions of images from Flickr, studying social networks, helping people organize with one another. It's about people. And when I realized it, it was like this secret, like, wow, this is really what it's all about. That's so cool. Whenever you're buying tickets on Ticketmaster or getting a Facebook account, uh, you have to type these squiggly characters that are sometimes hard to read. I invented those. It's called CAPTCHA. When we give you one of these squiggly characters, what you may not know is that you're also helping us digitize books. These words that you see right here actually come from a book. You know, we're getting tens of millions of words every day digitized by just having people type these words. That in and of itself is amazing. But now take that one person and scale the whole thing up to 90,000 people. And now it's not just really, really cool. It's like we're changing the world. In my research, we're trying to actually get people to not only do something good for humanity, but to do it together in a cooperative sense. The way to get people to cooperate on a massive scale is to make it a game. I mean, every day I touch 200 million people. In some sense, everybody wins. STEM, science, engineering, technology, and math. Technology is really driving a lot of the innovation that you see in all of these entertainment fields. But whether it's video games or animation or theme park rides, those experiences need to have people who have a STEM background. Because of that, the field of computer science has changed very dramatically. You science and engineering can be whatever you want it to be. You can get outside and do all kinds of exciting things and go places you never dreamed of. We need all types of people working together. If you're somebody who can do art, if you're somebody who can understand the business plan, if you're somebody who understands how to write really well. A lot of creativity is required to basically invent the future. You really do need to have the, the combination of skills. You need to do it all. I love engineering because it combines math, science, and technology. Hi, I'm Eileen Garrison, and I'm a traffic engineer. We make a difference in the quality of life every day. STEM rocks. There's such a breadth of opportunity for you. You can be a college professor, you can be a researcher in medicine, in physics, nanotechnology, medical writing. You can be a web designer, you can be a teacher, you can go and make movies for Pixar. Chemical engineers, quality engineers, computer engineering. You can be a computer scientist, a visualization expert. It's unlimited. And this is unheard of outside of fields of technology. We need to have very good science talent to continue our mission going forward. We need men, we need women, we need people from different parts of the world. My life is STEM. I mean, that's what I do. I feel like I am one of the few blessed people in the world. There's something I love to do, people pay me to do it, and I can have fun. But the possibility to actually create and make these experiences will happen you're able to start studying uh, math and technology, your arts and your sciences. Learn the chemistry when you have the chance. Learn the physics when you have the chance. Find out what ignites your passion. And then work will be put. Science, technology, engineering, and math. Be an engineer like me. STEM. Now that I see this life, how can I do anything else?